on to the next chapter. An important one as what we study under the heading moment of force will be useful for both the mechanics as well as the electrical chapters. To understand that first let us take an example and then see what will be the definition for it which will be the definition of the heading given here. Let us take a body and let us say that we are trying to rotate this body about a line AB. And to rotate just like that it will not rotate. We have to apply a force. So if the force that we apply is as shown here, let the force act at point O, which is a point within the body, then <coughs> somehow or the other, let us say that there is a link between the body and the line AB. What I mean to say, somehow or the other, this body or the force that acts on the body is attached to this line. So then what will happen? This force acting on this body cannot separate the body away from this line or into towards the line. But whatever force is acting because of the body will move but it is also attached to this line. So it will move in such a manner that <coughs> it will have a motion that is connected to this line. It cannot move out freely but it will also have a movement in such a manner that it can only move about this line. Force is applied, this body can move about this line only, so it will be something like this. And this movement needs two things. One is the force acting on the body. Another is, another is where the force is acting. Take the door itself of your house and for that door, well, uh, this is the door and door means it will have the hinges also, so on. Now, if you apply a force at this point, something like this. The door will move easily about the hinge. So if you join both the hinges, that will give us a line which is similar to AB. The door cannot come out of the hinge, but it can have a moment. That moment will have a lean with the hinge. So without getting separated out, it will have a moment. So it will move only about the hinge like this. And for this, the moment it depends upon two things. One is the force that is acting <coughs> at the set point. Another is the distance of this force to the hinge. Now, that distance should be the shortest distance. Supposing there is a line here passing through the point A, then from A to another point B, if you want to see the distance, there can be so many lines, this is one line, this is another line, but distance means the shortest measurement between two points. So like that when you show different lines, you will find that there is one line that is the shortest. And that shortest measurement is called the distance. Distance means shortest measurement between two points or between a line and the point and so on. Now if you see this is shortest measurement, you will find that it will be perpendicular to the line under consideration. So that is why to move this door, which will be having a rotation, there are two things needed. One is the force and the distance of this force from the line joining the hinge. That distance should be the shortest distance. 
because that is the real measurement that is the real distance if you take some other length it is not the shortest then that is not the distance this all of you know it i need not make a make too much of a mention about it so force and the distance these are the two things required to give us a turning of this body about some line so two things are required and that will be the force and there is the distance distance is the shortest measurement and shortest measurement will be the line which is perpendicular from the force to another line so shortest measurement from a line to another point means it is a perpendicular distance not that that only is called the distance so now if this point i there i apply a force then the door will be able to move that is rotate quite easily without much difficulty but if this is a hinge and for the door i apply the force very very close to the hinge try it in your house if you apply a force that is all it will take everything out of your body to move even a little bit take so very difficult so that is why where the force acts that is the distance of the force to another point at line about which motion is there so that is why what is the value of the force if the force is more easy to rotate force is less difficult to rotate and if the distance is more then easy to rotate if the distance is less very very difficult to rotate so best example that i had told you was the door for all that try to keep your finger very close to the hinge and apply a force there to the door it's very difficult to rotate so where is the force that is the distance is important how much is the force the value of the force is important so it is clear that for producing a rotation about any fixed line force and the distance combination is what is important now if you see what is the force and the distance combination distance means shortest measurement and let us take that shortest measurement as equal to ob so f into ob will be force and distance combination will be the value which will give us rotation about any fixed line or fixed point or whatever something like this it will give a moment for the body that is why the force acting on the body which is giving us a moment is called the moment of the force the moment of the force either give it by capital m of the force and this moment in dynamics is what is known as the torque this is torque many people do not know what is torque and they try to solve problems so remember this point that torque means moment of a force and moment of a force is the turning capacity of the force the turning capacity of the force about any line or the point how much you can turn the body that capacity is called the moment of a force and that only is called the torque for that force and distance is what you will have to find out multiply them that combination will give us the moment of the force or the torque and for that the distance which is under consideration should be perpendicular to the force or you can say it is perpendicular to the line of action so if the point if the force passes through some point whatever be the direction of the force that is also known as the line of action of the force the perpendicular distance from the line of the force to another point about which rotation is taking place is called the moment of the force and that only is also known as the torque so moment of the force is equal to force into the perpendicular distance which is also known as the torque the symbol for torque which we will be using is tau so these are all the details about moment but there are a lot of things that you need to know about the moment of a force because all that will be coming in our future studies both mechanical as well as the electrical chapters so let us see that in full before we proceed further <coughs> 
Now let us see the moment of a force about some point through which the force itself is passing. That is, let us say the force is passing through the point O. I want to find the moment of this force about that point through which it is passing. And we have seen already that for the moment we want the distance which is perpendicular to the line of the force. Because the force is passing through some point through which we want the moment, so we have to take the perpendicular distance <coughs> from this point. Because the force is passing through that point, perpendicular distance up to the line of action of the force means the perpendicular distance will be this point itself. That perpendicular distance, therefore, we want to know for this force when the force is passing through the point about which we want to take moments. Then because force is passing through some point, about that point we have to see the distance. Now it is a point, therefore so both two points are one point here. We want to take moment about some point. Bring that point closer, more and more close. Perpendicular distance will decrease. Moment of the force will become less. Like that when you decrease the length more and more at one time, the moment we want to take will be about that point through which the force passes. Then perpendicular distance will be zero. So the moment of the force will be equal to the force into perpendicular distance which is equal to force into OA is zero that is also equal to zero. So the moment of a force about some point through which passes the force itself will be equal to zero as when forces passes through some point, then the perpendicular distance up to that point will be equal to zero. So moment also will be equal to zero. So the torque will be zero about that point through which passes the force. Okay. Then let us say that there are a number of forces acting on a body. Here you have got your weight, here another weight, then all this. Because all the weight, weight is a force, so all the weight are acting all the forces are there on the same line. Therefore, the effect will be downwards. Force, when you leave it freely, it will act in the direction of the earth. The effect will be downwards, but all are present on the same line. So the resultant of all these forces also will be on the same line. You cannot have for all the forces acting on one line resultant on a different line. Not possible. So the resultant is R. Now, thing is that when you try to balance, let us say this, this is a body and on that body some different forces are acting. If you join all the forces, they are all in the same line. Now, if you try to balance any body at the point where the resultant acts, it will balance because that point when you place your finger or whatever, it will have a reaction in the opposite direction. That reaction will balance with the resultant R, R E S you can say. What is the meaning of resultant? I have told you so many times before. Resultant is that single force which is equivalent of all the remaining forces put up together. So, if you bring the single force resultant, it will have the same effect like all the other forces acting. First force we will call it F1, then another one is F2, then it so on goes F3, F4, etc. So, this resultant I will call it as yes, is equivalent to all the forces together. So if you want to bring the resultant, because it is equivalent to other, then you remove all the other forces, then you can bring the resultant. Because it is producing the same effect like all forces. So when you remove this, bring a single force called the resultant, the effect will be the same. So now what happens is that when all the forces are gone, you bring the equivalent of the resultant, then only two forces will remain, 
one is the resultant another the reaction another is the reaction and because if you place your finger where the resultant acts then the body will be at rest we know that there will be good balance so balance is there no motion is there when there are only two forces acting and this is possible when the two forces acting in opposite directions are equal then only there will be balance so the reaction at this point o or whatever point you say is now <coughs> passing through that point where the resultant is acting i take moment here moment about this point so at this point find what is the force multiplied perpendicular resistance at this point this is the line of the action of the force take the perpendicular resistance see the value of the moment like this and for this force this is the line of action from there take the perpendicular resistance about this force and find out the value that is the moment of this force f3 like that for all the five forces if you find the momentum moment not momentum m o m e n t s that's all find the moment about this point a then you will find that this force perpendicular resistance then this force perpendicular resistance like that for five forces you will have five moments add up all of them there is a proof we don't require so i'm not going to tell you still if you want some clarification we will see that in the doubt classes so there is a proof that all the five forces whatever moment is there when you add it up then that will be also equal to the moment of the resultant so now what happens is that if the resultant is passing through o moment of resultant through o will be equal to zero just now we have seen it when any forces force pass through when a force passes through any point then moment of this force about that point will be zero so moment of resultant about point o is zero but moment of resultant is equal to moment of all forces add up find the moment of f1 about o find the moment of f2 about o like that for f3 f4 f5 for all that find what will be the moment about o moment of all forces about o if you add that will be moment of resultant about point o and resultant is passing through the point o itself so moment of resultant will be zero that is equal to moment of all forces so moment of all forces also will be equal to zero what is the meaning what did you learn from that moment of all forces about that point through which passes the resultant will be always equal to zero so what you have to tell us that moment of in this case moment of all forces is equal to f1 into i'll call this point as a1 then a2 a3 a4 a5 and so on it will <coughs> be carried out f1 into then o a1 then plus f2 into o a 2 plus up to the last here we have got only five forces let us say what will be the number of forces the last force let us say fn and then into the point for that will be o a n moment of all forces if 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 the moment of all forces is equal to the moment of resultant about any point about the same point about the same point and the resultant passes through
passes through this point through this point then then moment of the resultant of all the forces will be equal to zero so remember this this is quite an important one and how did we arrive at that for arriving you see there is again another proof and the another proof is that moment of all forces about any point is equal to moment of resultant so this is always correct if that point under consideration is such that the resultant is passing through that point then the moment of all forces will be equal to zero this is known as a d varignan's theorem let us not worry about the name and so on but remember only the facts moment of a force about any point is the product of the force and the perpendicular distance of the line of action of force to the said point that is what we have studied at the start for which i had given the door to be an example okay now as you move this point closer and closer and closer such that that point comes on the line of the hinge itself no perpendicular distance that is what i had meant to say here then you cannot move the door if you are trying to apply a force in the line of the hinge itself because no perpendicular distance so that will be equal to zero now the other case that we have taken is that moment of all the forces about any point will be equal to moment of the resultant about that point supposing you find the moment of all these forces about point a or let us say that this point will take it this side about point a then f1 into a a1 plus f2 into a a2 plus f3 into a a3 all that will be equal to the moment of the resultant about the same point if this point passes through point o through which resultant is passing then this moment all put up together will be equal to zero okay then another one important thing that you have to study is that <coughs> some moment will try to turn the body take for example here and let us take a force acting in this manner there is one point a here and another point b here then moment of this force about point a will have one type of effect moment of this force about point b will have another type of effect opposite effect you can see here if i want to find the moment of this force about this point a keep your finger there then easily you can find out how the body will rotate about this point this force in this direction it will rotate this body this force about this point it will rotate this body itself it will rotate in the anti clockwise manner and moment of this force about this point you can see here this force this line see the direction of the force so this force about this point will rotate the entire body in the clockwise direction so it is having an opposite effect opposite effect means if any one moment is positive if any one moment is positive the other moment must be negative so as a tradition what we are doing is that if there is any force that is trying to turn the body clockwise we are taking that clockwise moment as positive and the same force about some other point if it is trying to turn the body in the anti clockwise manner because clockwise direction we have taken positive so the anti clockwise will also be negative now whatever i have said as moment of the force then replace it by the word torque everything else will be the same so clockwise torque is positive anti clockwise torque is negative 
So all these informations you have to know. So remember all these points. Okay.